All right, you're checking out the thumbnail. You're looking at the title. That means you already know. We're checking out Bill Burr's How You Know When the N-Word Is Coming. Um, this was a bit he did, I believe, and a stand-up special. This will be my first reaction to it. I have not seen the special. This was sent in at request, so you guys will be enjoying this with me, hopefully, if it's funny. <laughs> uh, but before we get to the video, please be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and punch the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with my latest videos. Okay, so uh, I'm excited to get in this. I'm always uh, interested in finding new comedians. You know, I know some of the legendary comedians, but when it comes to like Bill Burr, um, you know, I've heard that he was funny and that he was kind of edgy. So, you know, let's get into it and see uh, my first reaction here. be back here down in the south man i had a real weird experience last time i came down here i was in nashville right sort of an awkward social situation right i'm sitting at this bar there's this white dude sitting like two stools away i don't know him he doesn't know me and that terrell owen story was in like sports news so i try to make conversation i'm like man look at this guy this guy just signed a 40 million dollar terrell owens oh so this is old back when terrell owens played football a contract 40 million and that's what he got he's already bitching man how much money do you need to make and the dude looks at me he's like you know what i say and then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming, <laughs> and it's coming hard. Uh, I think his, his spider sense might have been tingling that he might be dealing with, with somebody different here. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. Oh. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, <laughs> like doing the wave. What? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Right. I mean, come on, man. Somebody starts hitting you with racial uh, uh, slurs, uh, and then they want you to join in on the party. Uh, 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 no thanks. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff. I, yeah, the, the whole thing where, I mean, if somebody says it in front of me, then... You know, uh, I'm not going to get violent with them. I think words only have the power that you give them. So if someone uses that word, you know, it's not. I mean, I would like to, I would wish, I wish people were more, you know, mature, you know, but that's not the way the world is. Not, but, you know, but I, I see the humor in it because you can't say that around the wrong black people because you will get, yeah. Like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. Right. <laughs> You don't do shit like that. He just had. And then, and then they, and then they're gonna assume you're all together. You know, one guy starts it, and because you're standing next to the guy. That know. word hot potato just threw it in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. <laughs> I'm like, hey, buddy, join in on this. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Mm. Have you ever fucked your sister, right? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. Old school, you give huh? give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. <laughs> Don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming, because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash. He would just like flip out. He won't shut up. <laughs> He's angry. Uh, but something. You know, those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Tending, you know, yeah, yeah. Their eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I mean, do you guys get that mad at sports? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville. He's just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Upset for no reason. I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. Uh, who doesn't love boxing or UFC? I like UFC. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know, get attacked by animals. Oh, the, oh okay. Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know my favorite, like, moment of, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench-clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? 
Oh, he's talking about the um the malice in the palace, I think. Um this this was a long time ago where the players actually fought some of the fans because the fans were were being very disrespectful. Uh, I am old enough to remember it because I saw it live and Netflix did a special about it. Now that I'm promoting Netflix, but they did a special on the malice in the palace and it was very good. Um, this was one of the biggest things in sports when it came out as far as, uh, you know, it wasn't a good look though. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, yeah, it just must be. Yeah, it was kind of, you know, I, I didn't like to see it happen, but some fans, they deserve that type of stuff because, you know, you know, throwing drinks on somebody and all that craziness, you, you have the right, you think someone's not human because they're a millionaire and they're an entertainer or they're entertaining you. So you see them as a celebrity, so they don't have feelings. So you can just pour beer on them and spit on them and do all those type of things. You know, a part of me was satisfied about the malice in the palace, but a part of me was also still disappointed. I was kind of mixed on it, you know, because I don't even think that everybody who, the guy who threw the beer, I don't even know if he even got hit. <laughs> uh, the, the guy who threw the beer was the guy who, uh, who started the whole thing. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan, I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. <laughs> it was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> and I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk. You started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you. Not me. <laughs> I don't do that. Right? If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? I think you're awesome. <laughs> yeah, a whole different, a different type of energy uh, when they're standing in your face. You get in the game, you're all drunk. You're like, you suck, buddy. You're a piece of shit. Well, I don't know about that. And they're always calling him up. Come on up here. <laughs> they didn't. They kicked the shit out of everybody. They, they sure played. did. They sure did. I like remember that. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once, like <laughs> like, like Thanos. <laughs> I loved every second. I love how <laughs> he said he loves it. Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. Ron Artest. Um, I mean, if you know about Ron Artest, he was. Um, let's say he, you know, he was, they said his cheese, a little of his cheese slipped off his cracker when he was playing basketball because this dude literally changed his name to, to Metal World Peace because he wanted to get away from his image of fighting all the time and being violent, you know, because he was known Artest as being this tough guy who always got into fights and stuff like that. So he changed his name to Metal World Peace, you know, so I do applaud uh, him for, for, for making that change, but still. I wouldn't mess with Ron Artest. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, wow, right. it's Run. coming right at me. Must be in 3D or something. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. That was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot 10 inch black dude running right at him. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. Not the top three right though. Behind, top three? I ain't getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. What about a shark? <laughs> and he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so then <laughs> ain't no talking. There's no way I could <laughs> Yeah, you know I come from the street, so I know once once it, once they got in them stands, there's no talking. It's an idiot. Oh, okay, so that's it. All right, yeah. Um, uh, Bill Burr, that was dope. I, 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 I like the comedian. He has great stage presence. He has this aggressive comedy style that I like. I'm definitely going to uh, check out more. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Bill Burr bit? Um, like I say, that was dope. And I am now going to go down this Bill Burr rabbit hole because I can tell just from a couple of bits whether or not I like a comedian and I definitely like this style of comedy. So um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And peace. Bye.